What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, about this Knight Newman. Uh, and let me just show it to you. Knight Newman. Here, well, I guess it's... I'm gonna... Spoiler, spoiler alert. USB rechargeable bicycle light. Knight Newman. Because I'm gonna spoiler it. Because this thing is kind of a tight fit box. So, here it is. Uh, you know, this is a really slim light, as far as I can tell, for uh, my bicycle. So, I'm gonna use my bike a little more this summer. And thought I should have one. Another micro USB cable here. And then what we have I'll look like are some spare parts, a little extra rubber cap and an O-ring. So let's take a look at what this Knight Newman uh, looks like. So here it is, uh, you know, from my standpoint, this one is a pretty compact. You know, a lot of bicycle lights are really wide and this one is much more, you know, cylindrical, kind of more narrow. We do have a clamp down here. Uh, this is foam looks like inside here so we have a round clamp and then it looks like you should be able to just tighten this down to fit whatever kind of diameter bar you have we have a little release clamp here so that i can slide the light out i'm not sure if i need to slide it forward or back there i guess it's forward so that releases that little tab there and we can take it off so you absolutely have the capability to one recharge it here's the little cap that comes installed uh, there, right there on the micro USB, but also, you know, technically take it off and carry it like a handheld flashlight, which is actually really, really nice, especially, you know, if you're biking and say your flat tire uh, occurs or something like that, you could take off the light and walk along the side of the road to get some help uh, and, and be, still be safe. So I really like the detachable flashlight piece. I've got a power button right here, and uh, this thing isn't power or charged up yet we do have a little warning here to this end can get hot i mean it feels robust this whole thing looks like aluminum uh, i'm not sure i think this is aluminum here too but the whole thing feels like metal i you know it's kind of hard to demonstrate that but the whole thing is made out of metal and then it looks like we have a little arrow saying to open it or turn it on maybe you know i'm kind of gonna guess i'm gonna unscrew this here first because i'm kind of guessing maybe there's a battery spacer in here or something so we do have an 18650 battery, 3400 milliamp hours, Knight Newman battery, which is also included. I guess nothing stopping it. What I think it means is that the cap isn't tightened all the way, and maybe there is a little bit of a charge on the battery. So let me go ahead and screw this down. There we go. Seems that's as far as it'll go. And now if I hit this, look at that. Look at that. That thing is now on. So this is what it looks like in all of its lit up glory, as you can see here. We definitely have three different brightness modes, high, medium, low, and then strobe. And then SOS, and then off. So man, that's pretty That's pretty stinking bright. I can feel the light there. Um, I would say that even on this lowest setting, even though the room is well lit here, this is putting out a lot of light up, but that's gonna be just fine for most biking needs. Um, so here it is. This is pretty cool. Night Newman. Uh, we're going to take it outside, try it in the dark, and just see what kind of throw we get out of it. But I'm pretty excited about putting this on the, my bike, too. Let's go try it. All right, guys. Out here in the dark, man. There's like no moon tonight. It is really dark. Can't even see my hand in front of me. But I've got this uh, this bike light here. And let's just go ahead and turn the sucker on. And man, this thing is bright. And let's see if I just scroll through it. That was the high setting low, and now we'll get to the strobe as well as the SOS. So I'm just gonna kind of go back here to the high and just show you what I'm talking about. This is a bright, bright light. I mean, this is as bright as a lot of those tactical lights I've been showing you in the past here, and uh, lights up those trees just fine. And so if I were biking with this thing, I would have no problems kind of seeing really far out in front of me. In fact, uh, you know, I, I actually might even pref prefer this to a lot of the tactical lights I I have because it just has a really wide pattern now on top of that what you might be able to see here is it's it's kind of splaying the light out to either side in a pretty uh, wide way so even though we have kind of this pattern right in the middle um, I've got good visibility kind of extending out on both sides here so you know this would light up I don't know four lanes of highway five lanes of highway for me without a problem and if I go down here uh, a setting too you can still see those trees out there just fine man this is still lighting up a ton of path in front of me and then even on the lowest setting um, it's still illuminating those trees it might be a little hard to see on camera here but i'm still getting good visibility on them and it's probably just not going to kind of blind oncoming light as much or oncoming traffic as much and then obviously we've got those other two patterns there but man this thing is really really bright like i said um 
super powerful and uh, really small and compact. And again, pull it off and use it as a flashlight if you need to. Uh, pretty awesome. So check it out. I'll put a link to the description. Peter Von Panda out.